Yeah. <laughs> Actually, let me, let me add, maybe add a few things to, to that, uh, which is, um, so um, as we advance the neural link devices, uh, you should be able to actually have uh, full body con control and sensors from an Optimus robot. So you could basically inhabit an Optimus robot. It's not just the hand, um, the, whole, the whole thing. Um, so you could like basically mentally remote into an Optimus robot and, and uh, be kind of cool. The future's gonna be weird. Um, <laughs> but, and, <laughs> But, but pretty cool. Um, uh, and then um, now, obviously, uh, another thing that could be done also is like for people that have say lost uh, a limb, uh, lost an arm or a leg or something like that, then uh, we think in the future we'll be able to attach an Optimus arm or legs. And uh, so you kind of like I don't remember that scene from uh, Star Wars where Luke Skywalker gets his hand, you know, chopped off with a lightsaber, and he gets kind of a robot hand. And um, I think that's the kind of thing that uh, we'll be able to do in the future, uh, working with uh, Neuralink and Tesla. So, um, so that it goes far beyond just operating a, a robot hand, but replacing limbs and, and having kind of a whole body robot experience. And then I think an another thing that uh, will be possible, I, um, I think is very likely in the future, is to be able to bridge the, the, uh, where the damaged neurons are. So you can take the signal from the brain and, um, and transmit that signal past where the neurons are damaged or strained uh, to the rest of the body. So you could uh, reanimate the body so that if you have a neural link implant in the brain and then one in the spinal cord, then you, you can actually bridge the signals and you could walk again and have full body functionality. Obviously, that's what people would prefer, um, to be clear. <laughs> we realize that that would be the preferred outcome. And, um, and so that even if you have a broken neck or uh, you could still, we believe, I'm, I'm actually at this point, I'd say fairly confident that at some point in the future, we'll be able to restore full body functionality. Woo!